Hi, this is Gerhard Ritter and welcome to my demonstration watercolour of a German short-haired pointer. I start with a very quick sketch in using a 2B propelling pencil. Remember this is a map of where you want to put the colours. It's not a finished drawing so don't take too long. With a Winsor Newton sable round, I pre-wet some of the area and then put in the first bit of colour, burnt sienna. I vary that with a little bit of alizarin crimson and burnt umber. While that's moist, I mix up a stronger mixture of burnt umber and burnt sienna and put that in and let the moist paper move the edges around. Swapping to an Escoda Taclon round, I insert some finer detail and do a little bit of lifting out. more of a darker mixture with burnt umber in there and then I swap to a finer sable round to put a little bit of detail into some of those drier areas and reinforce some of the dark folds. While that's drying off I pick up a finer rigger, mix up some Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna and add some detail to the eyes. You'll notice I've put in some cadmium yellow first and then go over the top. I carefully leave the white in the eyes. With a small round, I mix up a batch of burnt umber, burnt sienna and Payne's grey and start stating some of the darker shadowy areas. Work all over your picture. Don't concentrate on one area. You should be able to develop all of it to about the same extent at any one point. Trying to uh, suggest the patterning on the dog's body, I've swapped to a very old calligraphy brush that breaks at the point at the bristles so it gives me irregular shapes not as much control. I pick up a mop and wet the background before putting in a very quick tone of some burnt umber, burnt sienna, a yellow ochre no fussing just be careful that you paint fairly close up to your subject, but don't worry too much if you paint into it. Using a small round sable and clean water, I splatter the background. Then that same sable with some dark colour is used to add texture to the body. An old tattered bristle fan brush adds the sort of fur texture that's necessary. I've used some white gouache and now I've swapped back to that dark brown and I keep mixing brushes and paints just to try and get more of a realistic impression.
So while the body's drying, I swapped to a very fine rigger just to put in some of the whiskers and the reflections, highlights with that white gouache. I just keep refining shapes, tones, using different brushes until I'm more or less satisfied with what I've got. Once you get close to the end, sign your work, take a photograph and refine whatever's necessary before you finish off. Thanks for watching.